If you have watched similar videos like this, you would already know that Islam and Muslims have played a great role in structuring today's modern civilization. From coffee to cameras, most of today's technology came from Muslims. But among all inventions, there was one, and without it we will not be having Facebook or even the Internet. This is the invention of the Arabic number. It all began during the Golden Age of Islam when the House of Wisdom founded by the Abbasid Caliphate. It was a major intellectual center based in Baghdad. It was here where all the scholars from far and beyond would come to teach and learn almost everything ranging from astronomy, medicine, geography, and the list goes on. The beauty of this institute was that it was not solely by and for Muslims. In fact, majority of the scholars who taught in the House of Wisdom were the Greek philosophers. It was not about building from scratch but achieving perfection by innovating the present and as such was the subject of mathematics. Before Baghdad, each civilization had their own version of numbers. Numerals from the Greeks were based on the Greek alphabet. Numerals from the Romans were ciphers. Chinese based on spelling out and so on. Despite their cultural differences, they all functioned the same way. That is each number had its own unique code like a name and they did not have flow of continuity. Except for the Indian civilization. The Indian mathematicians came up with symbols for each number from 1 to 9. And in order to have a seamless continuity from the number after 9, they invented the zero to indicate nothingness, and combined it with the existing frame of symbols for numbers 10, 11, 12, and so on. As such keeping count became easier. It was at the House of Wisdom, this methodology was recognized to be the best format of indicating math. The numeral system modified by the Arabs and from the House of Wisdom it was spread to the Western world. And from there, the Arabic Hindu numerals became split into usage as the Eastern Arabic numerals which was used by the Arab world and were designed according to the Arabic alphabet. While the Western Arabic numerals were designed compatible to each locality's language. But who did all these amazing work? It was a Muslim polymath whose name was Al-Khwarizmi. Known for his other great works in astronomy and geography, Al-Khwarizmi wrote a compedium on calculation. This book was written in Arabic and was translated into Latin under the title Algorithmi de Numero Indurum. This title means Algorithmi on the Numbers of the Indians, where Algorithmi was translated from the name Al-Khwarizmi. The name Algorithmi became a term and today in modern sense is known as algorithm which is the primary basis for computing and like we mentioned in the beginning without this invention we will not be having Facebook or any technology.